Hey, good morning, Facebook family. It's another day that the Lord has blessed us with. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Continue in your walk. Continue in your faith. Serving God. Amen. Um, it's another day. Today is the Friday, the 8th of January, 2016. Right now it's 6.10 in the morning. And I'm at home. Still yet, surprising. Usually I'm on the road, off to take my wife work. And, uh, but, um, nevertheless, the word gotta be spoken. Amen. Hang on. Coffee and the word. It's nothing like waking up to coffee and the word. When I start my day off with these two, for some reason, my day goes smooth. When no more these two, ho, ho. I get antsy. <laughs> eh? Amazing, eh, Jesus? God is awesome. We'll jump straight into the Word. Jump straight into the Word. God is awesome. Ah. Uh, God is awesome, my family. God is awesome. No matter what, He is awesome. Matthew 24, 10 to 13. Matthew 24, 10 to 13. Okay? And then many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold. But he who endures to the end will be saved. Amen. But he who endures to the end will be saved. One of the words I always use is the word endure. Because I understand how being offended can can. can take a person's fate away, so much so that they walk away from God. Okay? I, it happened to me. It happened to me. And I'm, I'm no greater than the next. I'm just a human being. But I see it happening often. Today, I'm, I'm very well grounded in the Word. And... Um, and I trust in, in God so much so that I depend on him to keep me connected to him. Yeah. It's, it's his strength. When I, when I yield, when I yield my, my whole being to his strength and ask him and I put, and I put the, I give him the authority back to control me. And keep me connected to him. That is how I stay connected. That is how I know I cannot be separated from him. Because I give him the power back to control me. When I lean on my own understanding. And I take that power back. I take the power back and say, you know what? I'm going to do things my way. It's possible for me to deceive myself. And, 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 and think that I, I, I did all the work and not God. Yeah. We all know, there's many of you out there who know me personally, who know that the old me, you would never catch me doing this. The old, the old Keoki, the guys who know me by Keoki, the guys who know me and what I did in the past, Know for certain that you will never catch me preaching the word of God. Much, um, even more so on a daily basis. You never catch me walking in the streets of town. Um, in in the old in uh in my old self, unless I was out there distributing drugs. Yeah. You never catch me going up and and, and speaking to the lowly. I used to only like to be around powerful men. Yeah. 
But how awesome is God? See, it's, it's his strength that, that, that when he imparts his strength in me, I can stay obedient and connected. Yeah? Therefore, the love, the love that I have for him will not grow cold. Okay? Remember, read the scripture. It says, Matthew 24, 10 to 13. It says, and then many will be offended, will be betray, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Then many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will grow cold, but he who endures to the end will be saved. Now, just this scripture alone, these scriptures alone, this set of scriptures, you can create a whole sermon on this. This is some powerful stuff. But in this chapter, Jesus is giving, giving us a, a, a glimpse of what we, can, what we can expect, the signs of the end of this age. His disciples asked, what will the sign of, of your coming be? Most agree, we are in the season of his return. We are in the end times. I believe so. It is useless to try to pinpoint the actual day of his return. Jehovah's Witness did that several times. Charles T. Russell prophesied that the end will come several different times, and he was wrong. And the Bible, what does the Bible speak about on one false prophet? Now, only the Father knows that. He only Him know when, when that 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 time gonna come. But Jesus did say we would know the season, and it is now. Never before have we seen such prophetic fulfillment in the church, in Israel, and in nature. So we can confidently say that we are in the time period Jesus described in Matthew 20, 24. Notice one of the signs of his pending return. Many will be offended. Not a few, not some, but many. Many will be offended. Yeah? Many will be offended. First we must ask, who are these being offended? Are they Christians or are they just society in general? We find the answer as we continue to read. And because lawlessness will abound, the love of many will go cold. The love of many will go cold. So the love will become unloved. Yeah. And, and this word love, the Greek word for this particular word love is agape. There are several Greek words for love in the New Testament, but two of the most common are agape and phileo. This is how you can describe phileo. Phileo can be described as, um, you scratch my back and I'll scratch your back. You treat me, you treat me the way you like to be treated. You mean? That's phileo, okay? That's a conditional love. On the other hand, agape, agape love is the love that is being described here. That with that agape is the love God shed abroad. God showed us that when he saved, sent his one and only son to die for us. That's agape love. He died one. He gave his son once for all. Yeah. No matter who you, Muslims, whatever your denomination. See, we got when we when we when you trace back history, we all can we all can trace back, we can trace back where which group came from where. Yeah. You can trace back the, the Polynesian ancestry to a certain tribe. Only had twelve had twelve tribes. The twelve tribes of Abraham. Okay. But Ishmael had also twelve princesses. Prince, 12 of his own, yeah, which is the Arab world. My family, you can go deep in, in the Bible. When you study, when you start study the Bible and you study history, it'll all, it'll all, it'll reveal itself. God's word don't lie. 
God's word, no lie. There's truth in God's word. I implore you, my family, study the word. Not only study the Bible, but you gotta study. You gotta get guys who can who get get um historians, Flavius Josephus, Eusebio. All these guys are actual historians of the word of God that that brings brings forth an added truth to the truth. Yeah, so that I mean. The, the word of God is so beautiful and it, it, it helps us. And we got to understand what we, what we must do. What we must do is we must stay connected to him so that we don't get offended. So that we don't get offended. Because when we get offended, what happens is our heart starts to come hardened. It, it gets hardened. And what and when it gets hardened, you cannot tell you cannot tell a person what to do. No. I've been there. Seen that happen many a times. I myself engaged in in a in a in a offended state. And um I walked away from church today. There's a different type of it's a it's a spiritual discernment when I when I when when the spirit of God allows me to discern certain situations I walk away from the people that I believe who are not in alignment with God but I don't walk away from God There's a big difference my family okay You got to guard your heart you need to guard your heart and understand that sometimes you got to do this either alone or be very choosy on who you engage with, Who's, who is feeding you information. I I um I heard T D Jakes say this once, and 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 T D Jakes is a very well uh very um he's a poet he's a very awesome bishop pastor a teacher of the word um very 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 knowledgeable, and he said this and and I will never forget this. He said, and it went something like this. He said, if you are the smartest one in your group in the in the people that you that you associate with if you are the smartest one in your group then it's time to you it's time for you to find another group okay and what that means is what when you become that when you when you are known when you are the smartest one of that group and only you become the teacher, you cannot learn nothing. And life is about learning. We all can learn something every day. You know, part of the reason why people get offended is because they don't like people telling them what to do. Especially if they know it's the truth about them. They're going to defend that position very well. Some of them put up a strong fight. I mean it daily. But to God be all the glory. You know, for me, people, when they fight, I just back off. I know, the, I know the truth. I know the truth. Some, some, uh, some, some, um, some conversations you will never win, especially when you're going up against people who no believe no believe in a word like atheists and um and the like. Uh, these guys who are uh, they will they will not stop until they take you down or you just say you know what um we can agree to disagree. Sometimes it's best to just agree to disagree and just move on. You see, because the heart is something that only God can change. 
Remember now, Jesus taught that we get one heart condition. It's a heart condition. Guns don't kill people. People do. Guns don't kill people at all. You put a, you put a gun on a table and you, you can even load it and and um chamber chamber it but if you leave it on the table it'll stay there and rot it will not become effective unless somebody pick it up and use it and the only way people do that is because of their their dirtiness and filthiness in their heart there is no justification for anybody taking anyone's life that's why I'm so adamant about about posting things on this the the Muslim faith, the Islamic faith. You know, because we we as human beings, first and foremost, how can we kill another being, an innocent being, a baby, or a woman? Much, much less because they have a different faith of you that you believe. They don't believe in Allah. These are, these are crazy. They're crazy. You know, also, because we have one heart condition, it, it's a condition that needs to be purged and cleansed of all unrighteousness because of that. Our love can go cold. Therefore, putting us in a state of offense, being offended, therefore, causing us to want to retaliate. Yeah? Perfect love. Perfect love. Cast out all fear and doubt. Perfect love. Something even I'm practicing, but I leave them all to God, and that's something that we all should do. My family, God is awesome. When we learn, when you learn how to, excuse me, when you learn how to tap into God's power. We become a different person. I'm, I'm evident of that. You know, um, I was a wretched fool. You know, a murderer, yeah, adulterer. What else? Yeah, I violated every commandment in the Bible. Every one of them I violated. And you like know something. Until God brings us back, we're going to continuously violate the commandments. So that's why the word of God says, God is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. But we must come to him daily and repent. Repent. Genuine repentance. Sometimes God will come every day. Hey, Lord, please help me. I need your help. Forgive me. I know I'm not supposed to be doing this, but help me with this. Help me with this. You know, some stuff only God can do. Only Him can clean them. Yeah. Remember, your our, our first and foremost. Objective is to please all God, love all God with all our heart, with all our might, and all our strength. Then the second commandment is that we love our neighbor as we love ourselves. If we fulfill these two to the letter, then we have we have obeyed every commandment God has said. Okay, just the two. We love God with all our heart, all our might, all our strength. And then we love our neighbors, we love others as we love ourselves. 
with that agape love. Then we have accomplished and obeyed every single commandment. You, once you can display these two love, these two, then you you are covered. Yeah, Jesus made them easy for us. We make them hard. We make them hard because every little thing that happens in the world, we want to know more about it, or. Um, if it doesn't make sense to us, then it's not right. You know, I get that argument a lot. Yeah. If it doesn't make sense, then it's not right. Yeah. But that's a, that's, that's a, a premature position to take. You know, the, the Word of God says, my people perish for lack of knowledge. Think about it, guys. We get offended for, for some of the craziest things. I myself, I used to get offended a lot. You know? I used to retaliate a lot. I'm glad I only retaliate once in a while. <laughs> some of you know what I'm talking about. But God is faithful. He is faithful and just. He is faithful and just. To cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. I love you folks. Have a beautiful day in our Lord. Stay faithful.